हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम
श्रीरूपम साग्रजाता सहगना रघुनाथान वितंतम सजीव साध्वैतम सावधुतम परिजना सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पदा सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखां वितम सचा हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभाणु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पतरूप्य कृपा सिंधोप्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवासादी गौर भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम देव उत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तत्वीर नष्ट प्रायशो भद्रेशो नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैशिकी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय नंदगोप कुमाय गोविंदय नमो नम नम पंकज नाभाय नम पंकज मलिने नम पंकज नेत्रा नमस्ते पंकजांग्रे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय जय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरत्षे नम नमो ब्राह्मण्याय देवाय गौ ब्राह्मणाताय चगदताय कृष्णाय गोविंदय नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नमिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्विशेष शून्यवाणी पाश्चातेश कारणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवसादि गौरवाकृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंगायते गिन यत्पहतम वंदे श्री गुरुदीन तारिण श्री परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य ओम पवित्रो पवित्रो वा सर्वावस्थिं गतोपि वा यच मरे पुंडरी काक्ष सह पिहाभ्यंत श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी धन्यवाद जी इज वेरी ग्रेटफुल दैट यू ऑल हैव जॉइंड टुडे इज एकादशी मॉर्निंग विनेला माता जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी धनवत प्रणाम प्रभु जी कृष्ण प्रभु धनवत प्रणाम प्रणाम जय जय राव प्रभु धन्यवाद प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम संतोष जी प्रभु विनपोल फैमिली धन्यवाद हरे कृष्ण वाणी माता जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण सुब्रह्म निरुपम माता जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम प्रभु धन्यवाद प्रणाम धन्यवाद प्रणाम प्रभु जी प्रशांति माता जी धन्यवाद प्रणाम श्री गिरिराज प्रभु लावण्य माता जी हरे कृष्ण धन्यवाद संजय प्रभु जी हरि बोल धन्यवाद प्रणाम धन्यवाद राम प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी प्रवीण प्रभु सुमाथ्रभु 
ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಾಲ್ಗೋವಿಂದ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಅಲ್ಗೋವಿಂದ್ ಪ್ರಭುಸ್ ಮದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈನ್ ಬೋನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಶಿಲ್ಪಮತ್ ಶಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಮ್ಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸಾ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಬಿ the chapter and a chap and i saw the chapter as narayana kavaja right um, then i felt what can be a better what can be a better uh, offering yeah. to balgun pro's mother and everybody of us were suffering in this age of kali and then reading the narayana kavaja prayers right uh, it's a wonderful uh, prayer it's a whole chapter is like a prayer book where uh, vishwarupa is speaking the narayana kavaja prayers on the request of uh, mute others who are not speaking so, yes great so the whole chapter is about reading the narayana kavaja prayers you know uh, where uh, indra is asking Vishwarupa, who is just appointed as the priest. Why is he appointed as the priest? Because Lord Brahma told, go in and uh, now that you don't have a priest or your guru in the form of Brahaspati, who has abandoned you and you lost all your power and all your um, influence, all your kingdom, everything is going down. So why don't you accept another equally exalted guru with Vishwarupa? and uh, in the last chapter seventh chapter at the end uh, indra and the whole uh, team of the uh, whole team of uh, devatas they all go and they praise yeah. vishwarupa and they request him to become their spiritual master and the priest who is going to conduct all auspicious activities and save them from all inauspiciousness with large heart vishwarupa yeah. accepts it and after accepting it indra is going and asking can you please uh, protect us and vishwarupa says i am going to protect you with narayana kavaja so i am protected by narayana and uh, indra asks what are the glories of this narayana can you please explain so today's class provision and math ji what i would recommend is uh, focus on every verse it's equal to we doing a prayer or of narayana kavaja on such a important auspicious day ekadashi was this planned this is planned by lord krishna only that you know on ekadashi day this chapter came it could have come on any other day but it is coming on ekadashi day and this age of kali padam padam yatvi padam natesha there is danger at every step who knows where tomorrow morning all of us will end who knows better to read narayana kavaja prayers on a ekadashi day with full concentration keeping aside all other things next one hour just read this prayers have the bhagavatam in front of you you all have a bhagavatam copy in your notes get the sixth canto open the page number 381 and uh, just keep everything else aside for some time and say that now this is the time i'm reading narayana kavaja prayers on ekadashi for the benefit of all devotees for the benefit especially of upendra upendra mata ji his mother of his great palgun who is serving all of us selflessly for many 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 years and we want him to serve for many 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 more years and we want his mother to be in good health condition or whatever lord krishna's plan is uh, with faith and lot of strength 
she should be there. And so let's pray for that. This Narada Kavaja prayers, why Indra is asking is different. Of course, he also wants to serve the Supreme Lord. So he wants to regain his kingdom and his powers. But there is a materialistic angle to it also. But we as practicing devotees or trying to become devotees, we are going to recite this Narayana Kavaja prayers to take shelter of the holy name of Lord Narayana and all the different incarnations and different weapons through which he is appearing in front of us. And we should take shelter of all of this. Nama, Rupa, Guna, Lila. All of them are same. So his name is same, his Gunas are same, his Leelas are same. Right? His form is also same. So which, it is sixth canto, sixth canto, eighth chapter of Srimata. Right? If you have Telugu also, you can keep Telugu. Because most of these verses don't have uh, purport. Only few of them have purport, which I'll read in English. Uh, but it's pretty much today is a recitation day. I don't have much to say or speak. Because here Vishwarupa is speaking uh, the whole entire narrative. So without any more delay, let's get started. Shri Narayana Kavacham, Shield, Chapter 8, Text 1 and 2. So you all can keep it on mute and read the verse also if you wish to. It's good to read verse also of Narayana Kavacham prayers on this very auspicious day. Because we are actually reading the prayers itself. right? So you can read along with me. Shri Rajo Vacham. Yayago Shrakta Sahasra Read Vinir Ilokya Bhubhute Shriyam. I'm just muting everybody because it's difficult if we all talk and recite together. Bhagavam Stan Mamakyati Varmanara Yanatmakam. Yathathayena satrum yena gupto ajayan mrute. Translation and purport by Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Again and again, I'll see in the same question. I'm repeating it to all of you. Please hear attentively. It's Canto 6, Chapter 8. And we just started. First and second shloka. Okay? Canto 6, Chapter 8. Translation purport by his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shil Prabhupada Ki Jai. King Parikshit inquired from Subhadeva Goswami, My Lord, kindly explain this Vishnu Mantra armor that protected King Indra and enabled him to conquer his enemies. Although with their carriers, along with their carriers, carriers and enjoy the opulence of the three worlds. Please explain to me that Narayana armor which King Indra achieved success in battle, conquering the enemies who were endeavoring to kill him. So Parikshit Maharaj is asking Sukhadeva Goswami, please tell, what was that Kavaja that uh, Vishwarupa gave to, gave to Indra? Now, first part of the chapter, Kavaja and Mataji, is about how you purify your body to start reading the Narayana Kavaja. Right? Like touching your uh, different, like we put Tilak, you know, Keshwana, Madhavan, Narayana, Vaishnava, Vamanayana, Trivikramana, Sridharana, Kishikeshana, Vansudana, Damodarayana, Padmanabhayana, Vasudevayana, Maha. Like that, we put, you know, everywhere. In the same way, even for Narayana Kavaja, it's a Vedic, uh, uh, Vedic, powerful, authorized, you know, uh, mantra of the, of the whole Srimad Bhagavatam. So there is a whole procedure, you know, Om Namo, Nar, Om Namo, Narayana, Namah, this is the eighth syllable. Then there is Om Namo, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. This is 12 syllable. So when you do this, where you should touch, you should see, you'll see if Brahmana is doing it, you know, before they start a puja, they, they, they touch their eight parts of the body like that. They touch the limbs. Then they, uh, you know, uh, they, they fold their hands. They touch all different uh, in-between portions. And they say, Om Pum Phat. Like that they say, you know, that they, they clear the, they create auspiciousness on parts of the world, all directions. All that is being told here. Actually, it's a very good, uh, like almost the chapter is about it, right? So we may not be able to do it physically, or if you understand, you can do it wherever you're sitting. But the whole point is to purify your body. And 
one of the mantras that come in this is already something that we have chanted om pavitro pavitro va sarva vastam gato piva yet smarit kundari kachana sahabhya abhyantra that is also there in in the translation as given by uh, ac bhaktivedan swami shri propad so let us hear the answer third shloka shri badrayane irvacha Vrita Purohita Svastro Mahendrayanu Pratchate Narayanakyam Varmaha Tad Ihaika Mana Shrinu. Shri Sukhudev Goswami said, King Indra, the leader of the demigods, inquired about the armor known as Narayana Kaucha from Vishwarupa, who was engaged, who was engaged by the demigods as their priest. Please hear Vishwarupa's reply with great attention. Now, uh, Sukhdev Goswami is telling this 5,000 years ago that we all in Gachipoli will be reading this chapter on this day and we should hear it with great attention. So, don't think Bhagavatam is an old book which is not living. It is living. It is very much alive. It is very much speaking to us right now. We are all equally sitting in Naimasharanya right now in Bhava. So, let's be attentive and let's be devotional. Mode is devotion, not to mug up the mantra or not to make sure Sanskrit is perfect or not to use the, the of course you should read it, recite it properly, but you know the, the mode of shelter, taking shelter. So we can serve Krishna properly. Right? So here the Narayana Kavaja starts. Shri Vishwarupa Vacha Tautangri Panir Achamya Sabavitra Udhan Mukha. Krita Swanga Kara Nyaso Matra Pyam Vagyatha Suchi Narayana Paramvara Parma Sanna Yed Bhaya Agate Padayor Dhanayor Purvor Udhare Hridi Athorasi Muke Shirasi Anu Anu Pur Vyag Om Karadini Vinyat Vinyase Om Namo Narayana Yeti Vipar Yayam Atha Piva Vishwarupa said, If some form of fear arrives, one should first wash his hands and clean and, and legs clean and then perform Achmana by chanting the mantra Om Apavitro Pavitro Va Sarva Vastham Gato Piva Yet Smarit Pundari Kakshan Saha Vya Vihantara Suche Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu. Then one should touch Pusha grass and sit gravely and silently facing north. When completely purified, one should touch the mantra composed of eight syllables to the eight parts of his body and touch the mantra composed of twelve syllables to his hands. Thus, in the following manner, he should bind himself with the Narayana coat of armor. First, while chanting the mantra composed of eight syllables, which is Om Namo Narayanaya, beginning with the Pranava, that is the syllable Om, one should touch his hands to eight parts of his body, starting with the two feet and progressing, and progressing systematically to the knees, thighs, abdomen, heart, chest, mouth and head. Then one should chant the mantra in reverse, beginning from the last syllable here while touching the parts of his body in the reverse order. These two processes are called as Utpatti Nyasa and Samhara Nyasa respectively. Kara Nyasam Tata Kurya Dvadha Shakshara Vidyaya Pranavadiya Karantam Anguli Angustha Paravashu. There, one should chant the mantra composed of 12 syllables Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, presiding each syllable by the Om Kara. One should place the syllables of the mantra on the tips of his fingers, beginning with the index finger of the right hand and concluding with the index finger of the left. The four remaining syllables should be placed on the joints of the thumbs. Great. Just say it within your heart. 
you know if you can physically do it do it otherwise uh, in your heart of heart take shelter yashe dhritaya omkaram vikaram anu murthi murthani sakaram to guruvor madhye na karam si sikhaya nyaye nashe ve karam netrayor yunyan na karam sarva sandishu ma karam astram uddishya mantra murtir bhaved udaya udha savi sargam pad antam tad sarva dikshu vinish vinir disher om vishnave nama iti one must then chant the mantra of six syllables om vishnave namaha one should place the syllable om on his heart the syllable v on the top of the head right so we are chanting this mantra right om v sa the syllable sa between his eyebrows the syllable na on the tuft of the hair shikha and the syllable ve between the eyes the chanter of the mantra should place the syllable na on all the joints of his body and meditate on the syllable ma as being a weapon he should thus become per the perfect personification of the mantra thereafter adding visarga to the final syllable ma he should chant the mantra ma astraya hat ma astraya hat in all directions beginning from the east in this way all directions will be bound by the protective armor of the mantra atmanam param paramam dhyaye dhyayam sat shakti bhiryutam vidya tejas tapo murtim imam mantram uda se second hello of the what have continuously yeah after finishing this chanting one should think himself qualitatively one with the supreme personality of god who is full of six opulences and is worthy to be meditated upon then one should chant the following protective mantra to lord narayana the narayana kavacha right so now the narayana kavacha prayers now till now you have purified your body your 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 thoughts your speech everything you purified now you are going to chant now here why we chant specifically sukadev goswami is saying or rather vishwarupa is saying that we should think that we are qualitatively one with god now we are not thinking that we are god prabhupad speaks about this statement later in one of the purports we are not thinking that we are god we are thinking we are part of god and because god is the most pure we are also pure right we are also pure equally pure because you know we are part of him yes we are small and we are vulnerable to become impure we have that free will that we sometimes misuse but we should not forget that we are part of god people should not become disheartened in devotional life that they are not able to become purified they are not able to um, practice the devotional principles properly they are not able to chant properly all this is only because we are diseased right now when the disease is gone we are originally pure we are part of krishna so with that consciousness with full confidence that we are children of shrimati radharani we are children of shri shri lakshmi devi we are children of the supreme personality of god and he is our source with that confidence with that faith with that understanding qualitatively being equal to lord krishna we are going to recite this prayers now text 12 om harir vidadyan mama sarva raksham nyastan gri padma patakendra prishthe darari charmashi gadeshu chapa पाशान दधानो अस्त गुणो अस्त पापो द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हु सिट्स ऑन द बैक ऑफ द बर्ड गरुडा टचिंग हिम विथ हिज लोटस फीट होल्ड्स एट वेपन्स द 
the conjunction is shield, sword, club, arrows, bow, and ropes. May that supreme personality of Godhead protect me at all times with his eight arms. He is all powerful because he fully possesses the eight mystic powers, anima, lagima, and etc. Perfect. Thinking oneself with the supreme is called ahan, ahangaro, ahangra ho pashana. Though ahangra pashana, one through one ahangra pashana, uh, one does not become God, but he thinks of himself as qualitative one with the supreme. Understanding that as a spirit soul, he is equal in quality to the supreme soul, the way the water of a river is of the same nature as the water of the sea. One should meditate upon the Supreme Lord as described in this verse and seek his protection. The living entities are always subordinate to the Supreme. Consequently, their duty is to always take, always seek the mercy of the Lord in order to be protected by him in all circumstances. Jaleshu maam rakshatu mastya murtir Yado gane bio varunasya pasha staleshu maya vato vamano upya trivikrama ke avato vishwarupa. May the Lord, who assumes the body of a great fish, protect me in the water from the fierce animals that are associates of the demon demigod, the demigod Varuna. By expanding his illusionary energy, the Lord assumed the form of the dwarf Vamana. May Vamana protect me on the land. Since the gigantic form of the Lord, Vishwarupa, conquers the three worlds, he may protect me in the sky. This mantra seeks protection of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the water, land and sky. In his incarnations as a fish, Vamana Deva and the Vishwarupa. Durgeshu Atvi Aji Mukhadishu Prabhu Payam Nir Simho Asura Yutapari Yutapari Vimunchato Yasya Mahat Mahatta Hasam Disho Vinidhur Nepatam Garbha. May Lord Narsimha Deva, who appeared as the enemy of Hiranyakashu, protect me in all directions. His loud laughing vibrated in all directions and caused the pregnant wives of the Asuras to have miscarriages. May that Lord be kind enough to protect me in difficult phases, in difficult places like the forest and battlefield. Rakshatvi Ashau Madhavani Yajna Kalpa Swa damstra yonita dharo viraha ramo adri kutishu ata vipravase salakshmano kapyad bharata krajo asman. The supreme indestructible lord is ascertained through the performance of ritualistic sacrifices and is therefore known as Yagneshwara. In, in his incarnation as Lord Bohr, he raised the planet Earth from the water at the bottom of the universe and kept it on his pointed tusks. May that Lord protect me from the rogues on the street. May Parashurama protect me on the top of the mountains. And may the elder brother of Bharata, Lord Ramachandra, along with his brother Lakshmana, protect me in foreign countries. Hari Bohr. There are three Ramas. One is Ram, one Rama is Parashurama who is Jamadagniya. Another Rama is Lord Ramachandra. And the third Rama is Lord Balara. In this word, the word Ramo Adri Kuteshu Atha indicates Lord Parashurama. The brother of Bharat Maharaja and Lakshmana is Ram, Lord Ramachandra. Mamukra Dharmya Akhila Pramadan Nara Enapatu Naracha Narascha Hasa Dattha Ayoghar Kapila Karuma 
May Lord Narayana protect me from the unnecessary following false religious systems and falling from my duties due to madness. May the Lord in his appearance as Nara protect me from unnecessary pride. May Lord Dattatreya, the master of all mystic power, protect me from falling while performing Bhakti Yoga. And may Lord Kapila, the master of all good qualities, protect me from the material bondage of fruitative activities. Hare Krishna. Sanat Kumaro Avato Kama Deva Yashir Shamam Pati Deva Helena Deva Shivar Varya Purushar Chanantarat Purmo Harir Mam Nirayat Asheshar May Sanat Kumara protect me from lusty desires. As I begin some auspicious activity, may Lord Hayagriva protect me from being an offender by neglecting to offer respectful obeisances to the Supreme Lord. May Devarshi Narada protect me from committing offenses in worshipping the deity. And may Lord Guruma, the tortoise, protect me from falling to the unlimited hellish planets. Purpose. Lusty desires are very strong in everyone. And they are the greatest impediment to the discharge of devotional service. Therefore, one who is very much influenced by lusty desires must or are advised to take shelter of Sanat Kumara, Sanat Kumara the great Brahmachari devotee. Narada Muni, who is the guide of Archana, is the author of Narayana Pancharatra, of the Narayana Pancharatra, which prescribes regulative principles for worshipping the deity. Everyone engaged in deity worship, whether at home or in the temple, should always seek the mercy of Devarshi Narada in order to avoid the 32 offenses while worshipping the deity. These offenses in deity worship are mentioned in the Nectar of Devotion, Tirutamrita Sindhu. Dhanvantarair Bhagavan Patu Apatyan Dvandvad Hayad Rishabho Nirchitatma Yajnyas Chalokad Avataj Janantad Balo Ghanat Krodha Vasad Ahindra. May the Supreme Personality of Godhead, of, Supreme Personality of Godhead in his incarnation as Dhanvantari, relieve me from the undesirable eatables and protect me from physical illness. May Lord Rishabhadeva who conquered his inner and outer senses, protect me from fear produced by the duality of heat and cold. May Yajna protect me from defamation and harm from the populace and may Lord Balarama as Sesha protect me from envious serpents. Purport. To live within, the, within this material world, one must face many dangers as described here. For example, undesirable food poses a danger to health and therefore one must give up such food. The Dhanvantri incarnation can protect us in this regard. Since Lord Vishnu is the super soul of all living entities, if he likes, he can save us from Abhibhautika, Adi, Adi Bhautika disturbances, disturbances from other living entities. Lord Balarama is a special incarnation and therefore he can save us from angry serpents or envious persons who are always ready to attack. Hare Krishna. So we know whom to... I mean, we are not trying to divide and go to one one uh, aspect of God and trying to get separate advantage. We are actually taking shelter of the same supreme lotus feet of Lord Sri Krishna. But by remembering all different incarnations and his weapons, in future weapons also will come. We are actually taking full shelter. We are taking full... and Because he is coming... See, another aspect we should remember is we don't know where all we have to be protected also. We are in such a precarious condition. Uh, we don't know what all places I need to be protected. So God is so merciful. He is telling us through his own prayers, prayers offered to him, to Narayana Kavaja, that these all places I am protecting you, so don't worry. I am covering all these 60 degrees. One thing you can be assured by the end of this chapter, you are protected in all directions. There is nothing left. Krishna doesn't leave like uh, like uh, Hiranyakashipu left one uh, maybe some uh, 
aspects in his insurance policy. But this Narana Kavaja is greater than any insurance policy that a human being can draft. Uh, because Narana Kavaja is a great pandita. He drafted, so we can't be better than him. But Narana Kavaja is better than any of the protective shields of any uh, uh, benediction that anybody would have asked since time immemorial because it is drafted by Narayana himself and is giving it to his devotees. right? And the greatest protection, which is Narayana Kavaja's essence, is devotion. And devotionally, when we chant the Narayana Kavaja, it actually protects us in all, in all aspects. Hare Krishna. Dvaipa, text 19. Dvaipayano Bhagavan Apar Bodha Buddhas to Pashanda Gana Pramadha Kalki Kale Kala Malat Prapatu Dharma Vanayor Krita Vatara. May the personality of Godhead in his incarnation as Vyasadeva protect me from all kinds of ignorance resulting from the absence of Vedic knowledge. May Lord Buddha Deva protect me from all activities opposed to Vedic principles and from laziness that causes one to madly forget the Vedic principles of knowledge and ritualistic action. May Kalki Deva, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who appeared as an incarnation to protect religious principles, protect me from the dirt of the age of Kali. Now, this is the biggest purport of the chapter. Shri Papa is saying, please everybody here. Attentively. This verse mentions various incarnations of Supreme Personality of Godhead who appear from various for various purposes. Srila Vyasadeva Mahamuni compiled the Vedic literature for the benefit of all human society. If one wants to be protected from the reactions of ignorance, even in this age of Kali, one must one may consult the books left by Srila Vyasadeva, namely the four Vedas, Sama, Yajur, Rig, and Atharva, the 108 Upanishads, Vedanta Sutra or Brahma Sutra. Mahabharata, Srimad Bhagavatam, Mahapurana, Vyasadeva's commentary on the Brahma Sutra, and other and the other 17 Puranas. Only by the mercy of Srila Vyasadeva do we have so many volumes of transcendental knowledge to save us from the clutches of ignorance. As described by Sri Jayadev Goswami in this Dashavatara Stotra, Lord Buddha apparently decried the Vedic knowledge. Nindashi Yagnya Vedera Ahaha Shruti Jatam Sadaya Hridaya Darshita Pashu Ghatam Keshava Dhrutta Buddha Sharira Jaya Jagadish Hare. The mission of Lord Buddha was to save people from the abominable activity of animal killing and to save the poor animals from being unnecessarily killed. When Pashandis were cheating by killing animals on the plea of sacrificing them in Vedic Yajnas, the Lord said, if Vedic injunctions allow animal killing, I do not accept the Vedic principles. Thus he actually saved people who acted according to Vedic principles. One should therefore surrender to Lord Buddha so that he can help one avoid misusing the injunctions of the Vedas. This is the main thing. He, he rejected Vedas so that we use Vedas in the right. The Kalki Avatara is the fierce incarnation who vanquishes the class of atheists born in this age of Kali. Now, in the beginning of the Kali Yuga, many irreligious principles are in effect. And as the Kali Yuga advances, <laughs> I think that's why Prabhu is doing Arti. <laughs> yeah, so just muted him. Now, in the beginning of Kali Yuga, many irreligious principles are in effect. And as Kali Yuga advances, many pseudo religious principles will certainly be introduced, and people will forget the real religious principles enunciated by Lord Krishna before the beginning of Kali Yuga, namely, principles of surrender 
onto the lotus feet of the Lord. Unfortunately, because of Kaliyuga, foolish people do not surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna. Even most people who claim to belong to the Vedic system of religion are actually opposed to the Vedic principles. Every day they manufacture a new type of dharma on the plea that whatever one manufactures is also a path of liberation. Atheistic men generally say, yata, yata, mata, tatha, patha. According to this view, there are hundreds and thousands of different opinions in human society and each opinion is a valid religious principle. This philosophy of rascals has killed this religious principle, the religious principles mentioned in the Vedas. And such philosophies will become increasingly influential in Kali Yuga, as Kali Yuga progresses. In the last stage of Kali Yuga, Kalki Deva, the fierce incarnation of Keshava, will descend to kill all the atheists and will save only the devotees of the Lord. So beautifully, Prabhupada has written this in 1960s. And you can imagine what exactly is happening now. This is what is happening, right? Yatha Mata Tatha Patha. According to this view, there are hundreds and thousands of different opinions in human society and each opinion is a valid religious principle. But Bhagavatam says, Dharmantu Sakshan Bhagavat Pule. It is given by Lord in the, in the Vedas. But these people outside, they are getting so many different institutions and whatever process they are they are feeling and by they are defining by their own imagination, they are saying that is also valid. And this foolish secular or foolish so-called uh, uh, you know, people who want to see everything equally are not able to appreciate the greatness of Vedas because they say that anything one manufactures or thinks is Vedas only. There is one lady I met, you know, she's saying I'm writing Vedas. I said, what? You're writing Vedas? Because she thinks that what we write is Vedas. And we can write Vedas, right? So this is what is mentioned in the purport. So who protects us from that tendency? When we take shelter of Kalki Avatara, right? Who is uh, protecting us from creating any nuisance by doing such kind of things. And also protection from Yasadeva, who has given us the real scriptures, right? And from Lord Buddha, who doesn't you allow us to use the scriptures for the wrong purpose. Mam Keshavo Gadaya Pratar Avya Govinda Asanga Pam Atta Venu Narayana Pratna Udhata Shakti Madhyan Dine Vishnu Arindra Pani May Lord Keshava protect me with his club in the first portion of the day. May Govinda and May Govinda, who is always engaged in playing his flute, protect me in the second portion of the day. May Lord Narayana, who is equipped with all potencies, protect me in the third part of the day. And may Lord Vishnu, who carries a disc to kill his enemies, protect me in the fourth part of the day. According to the astronomical calculations, day and night are each divided into 30 ghatikas, 24 minutes of each, right? So instead of 12 hours, instead of 12 hours, what we say, uh, generally, each day and each night is divided into six parts consisting of five Gatikas. In each of these six portions of the day and night, the Lord may be addressed for protection according to his two different names. Lord Keshava, the proprietor of the holy place of Mathura, is the Lord of the first portion of the day and Govinda, the Lord of Vrindavana, is the master of the second portion. Text 21. Devo aparanye madhu hograthanva sayam tridhama vashtu madhavo maam doshe hrishikesha utardha ratre nishita eko avatu padmanabha. May Lord Madhusudana, who carries a bow, very fearful for the demons, protect me. During the fifth part of the day, in the evening, may Lord Madhava, appearing as Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwara, protect me. And in the beginning of the night, may Lord Hrishikesha protect me. At the dead of the night, in the second and the third parts of the night, may Lord Padmanabha alone protect me. Text 22. Shri Vatsadhama Para Ratra Isha Pratyashu Isho Asi Dharo Janathana Damo Dharo 
अव्याद अनुसंध्यम प्रभाते विश्वेश्वरो भगवान काल मूर्ति मे द सुप्रीम पर्सनल इंपॉर्टेंट who bears the shrivatsa on his chest protect me after midnight until the sky becomes pinkish may lord janardhana who carry the sword in his hand protect me at the end of the night during the last four ritikas of the night may lord damodara protect me in the early morning and may lord vishwa vishveshwara protect me during the in during the junctions of day and Night. Even during the junctions, Vishweshwara is protecting the transition time. Chakram yuganta nala nala tikma nemi har brahmat samatad bhagavad prayuktam dandaddi dandaddi ari sainyam ashu कक्षम यथावत सखो उताश सेट इनटू मोशन बाय द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड एंड वैंडरिंग इन ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शंस द डिस्क ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हैज शार्प एजेस एज डिस्ट्रक्टिव एज द फायर ऑफ डेवस्टेशन एट द एंड ऑफ द मिलेनियम एज अ ब्लेजिंग फायर बर्न्स ड्राई ग्रासेस टू एशेस With the assistance of, with the assistance of the breeze, may that Sudarshana Chakra burn our enemies to ashes. Now, I'd like to ask. Uh, just hold on. This is like a bits of the chapter. I'd like to ask. Now, these prayers are being chanted by Parikshit Maharaj, right? I mean, he is hearing these prayers, and Parikshit Maharaj is going to die in the next seven days, right? Maybe this is like the second day or the third day, sixth day too. So after hearing all this prayer, he should be protected, right? From Takshaka. Logically, if you look at it, he is hearing all these prayers directly from Sukadeva Goswami. So why was he still killed by Takshaka? Can anybody see? Think and tell me. This is not for Parikshit Prabhuji. This is for the well-being of the humans. He is asking. Well, uh, that is also a good answer. He is asking for the well-being of everybody. But he is also reciting it. He is protecting himself. Why did Takshaka still came and kill him? Hey, Krishna, Prabhuji, Lord, Lord will protect Parikshit, like Parikshit, uh, the soul of Parikshit, not the body. Body has to die. Some. Protection is beyond materialistic world, right, Prabhuji? Yeah. So yes, all your answers are right. One is he is not protecting his body, but these particular prayers are applicable in the material world. You know, the sky, the land, the water, the fire elements. All these things are for protection in the material world also. Prabhuji, to keep the uh, actually Namo Brahmanya Devaya that shloka Prabhuji to uphold that Brahman position. uh to the time immemorial he wanted to set an example that uh, brahmana uh, words are very valuable and to not uh, you know demean or lower them they whatever they say it is you know fine yes in one sense prabhu for the to prove that point prabhu no we are contemplating see prabhu on ekadashi morning we are all thinking that itself is a great service we are contemplating And all your answers are right. So I'd like to add one thing here is that I was hearing from a senior devotee, and he was explaining that uh, why did Parikshit Maharaj not protect himself? Actually, he had equal mystic and uh, power given by the Supreme Lord to even reverse the curse of Shringi. Right? He did not. He allowed the curse to come into action and allow. allowed it to be executed in fact it's a very disgraceful death right like last week uh, on sunday evening madhusudan uh, shri was saying who wants to be died with this pain it's like a bite right but he still allowed it and he's chanting narayana kavaja prayers here and still the snake came why because because uh, parikshit maharaj is a devotee you should understand that right? we all know that he is a pure devotee and he is in the amsha 
of Swayam Krishna, you know, is in his own lineage, his sister's uh, grandson, his sister's, you know, Subhadra and, uh, sorry, uh, son, right? So, uh, Abhimanyu and his son, grandson. So, you should understand that even though he's so pure, he's coming in that lineage, but he's most importantly a devotee. And Parikshit Maharaj, when he kept the dead snake on the on the on the neck of that great Vaishnava, he felt he has done a Vaishnava part. He felt he has committed offense against a Vaishnava. And a devotee, uh, even though he's fearful of Vaishnava Prat, but when he commits Vaishnava Prat, he allows God to punish him for what he has done. It's not like you commit Vaishnava Prat and come and tell, please forgive me. That's even bigger cheating. Because first of all, you should not have committed Vaishnava Prat. And you have committed Vaishnava Prat, and then you come and say, you know, please protect me. But here, Parishit Maharaj is setting an example that he thinks that he has committed a Vaishnava Prat. And he doesn't he is not asking for protection from the Supreme Lord because he feels he deserves to be punished. And that is the reason Takshaka snake you know, came and uh, killed him. Otherwise, it's not possible. After chanting Narayana Kavaja, how can any snake come and kill him? He has already worshipped Sesha, you know, Balarama in the previous verse, who is going to protect us from all snakes and envious people in this world. Right? So, he accepted the punishment because he felt that he has done Vaishnava. Though actually he has not done any Vaishnava. He has done the, uh, it was an act done because as a, as a king, he is supposed to be uh, greeted when he come into the house. And of course, you know, uh, the Kalipursha sitting in his, on his head in the form of gold influenced him to take that very unusual action he would never do. But he did it and he considered it a big Vaishnava Prada. So then he said, I'm not going to ask for any protection for, for my Aparada. Though for the sake of the world, I'm going to recite this Narayana Kavaja. But for myself, I'm still going to accept the punishment. Very good. Verse 24. Gade, Gade Ashani, Sparshana, Vispulinge, Nishpindi, Nishpindi, Ajita Priyasi, Priyashi. Pushmand Vaina Yaka Yaksharaksho Bhuta Grahams Churnaya Churnayari. Oh, club in the hand of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you produce sparks of fire as powerful as thunderbolts, and you are extremely dear to the Lord. I am also his servant, therefore, kindly help me found to pieces the evil living beings known as Pushmandas, Vainayakas, Yakshas, Rakshashas, Bhutas and Grahas. Please pulverize, uh, pulverize them. Vam Yatu Dhana Pramatha Preta Matra o best of the conscious o panchajanya in the hands of the lord you were always filled with the, with the breath of lord krishna Therefore, you create a fearful sound vibration that causes trembling in the hearts of the enemies like the Rakshashas, Pramata Ghos, Pretas, Matas, Pisachas and Brahmana Ghos for fe with fearful eyes. Tvam, tvam Tikma Dharashi Virari Sainyam Isha Prayukto Mamachindi Chindi Chakshumshi Charamma Charam Chata Chandra Chatyaya Dvisham Agonam Harapa Pachakshusham. O King of the Sharp Eyed Swords, you are engaged with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
प्लीज कट द सोल्जर्स ऑफ माई प्लीज कट द सोल्जर्स ऑफ माई एनिमीज टू पीसेस प्लीज कट दम टू पीसेस Oh shield, marked with a hundred brilliant moonlight circles. Please cover the eyes of the sinful enemies. Pluck out their sinful eyes. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Yano bhayam grihe pyo abhut ke tu pyo nirbhaya eva cha sharir sharis sharis pe pyo thams trip pyo bhute pyo. हम सर्वाणि भगवन् नाम रूपानो प्रयांतो प्रयांतो सद्यो येना श्रेय प्रतीपका वे द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेम फॉर्म क्वालिटीज एंड पैराफेरिया ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनल गॉड इट प्रोटेक्ट अर्थ From the influence of bad planets, meteors, envious humans, envious human beings, serpents, scorpions, and animals like tigers and wolves, may it protect us from ghosts and the material elements like earth, water, fire, and air, and may it also protect us from lightning, uh, from lightning and our past sins. We are we are always afraid of these hindrances to our auspicious life. Therefore, may they all be completely destroyed with the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. So the the translation starts with saying, "May the glorification of the transcendental name." Form, qualities, and paraphernalia of the supreme personality of Godhead protect us from all these things. Nama, Rupa, Guna, Lila. So I am very happy to uh, inform all of you that this protection is coming in the month of September. <laughs> How is it coming? Nama, Rupa, Guna, Lila. We have uh, yesterday. I was fortunate enough to. Uh, get the time of his grace Gauranga Darshan Guru, and I requested him to conduct a seminar series for all of us before Radhashtami. Prabhuji has never spent a single year in the last sixteen years outside GV, away from Sri Sri Radha Krishna, uh, on the day of Janmashtami or Radhashtami. But because I requested, you know, uh, I mean, I'm not saying I'm important anyway. I requested Prabhuji, Prabhuji, please come and. Uh, Do a nice seminar, and if possible, come in the week of Radhashtami. And Prabhuji called Goranga Prabhu, and he took permission from Goranga Prabhu. Goranga Prabhu told, "Okay, you can go." So Prabhuji audio is a, is a beautiful audio message he sent, and uh, then we both agreed that uh, His Grace uh, uh, Goranga Darshan Prabhu is going to come and do four seminars: Krishna Rupa, Krishna Guna, Krishna Nama Rupa, Guna Leela, and. The fifth concluding session is Radhashtami evening. He is going to spend with all of us in Bhakti Center. Hari Bol. He is going to do the seminar on Radhashtami. If you are all happy, please say loud Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. So Prabhuji is Narayana Kavaja comes into operation when devotees come into our life, and I I personally feel I'm the most unprotected, useless, weak, weak person on the entire planet. I'm not telling this to act humble. I know that, and that is the reason. Whenever I see any senior devotee around, I I and and I want to take shelter, and because you all have. Unfortunately, or confusingly, uh, come into my association. One advantage you'll get is you're going to hear from many senior devotees because I always like to be protected by senior devotees. I'll keep calling them, and as a byproduct, you all will also get their association. <laughs> so please pray for me that you know uh, I take advantage of this association, and in all your association, I also hear from great souls. 
So His Grace Goran Darshan Prabhu is coming in September. And uh, His Grace Chaitanya Chiran Prabhu is coming in August. Next week, Saturday, uh, sorry, Sunday, uh, Rajesham Prabhu is taking class, right, for all of us. And Shubhavilas Prabhu is taking us to Ayodhya Yatra. He himself is very senior devotee. The stalwarts in ISKCON movement to, for, to hear whom many people even take visas and go to another country and sit there and watch and hear are so much coming in access to all of us. And if we still are not becoming sincere in our devotional principles, and if we are still seeing devotion as a ritual, and we are still not having any enthusiasm to be on time in a class, to be inviting to the senior devotees, to be more sincere in uh, hearing their instructions, and taking shelter uh, to get rid of our weaknesses, then nobody can help. Madhavi Mataji, I'm keeping you on mute. Hare Krishna. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, so is Narayana Kavaja, are you all excited about chanting Narayana Kavaja prayers on Ekadashi Day today together? Yes, Prabhuji. Hari Bhav, yes. And this is planned by the Supreme Lord. And as I said yesterday, I cancelled this class. It's, it's, Shilpa Martin is there on the call. I actually cancelled. And then I went and saw, what am I cancelling? This is what I need. I need this. You know, and we all need this. And uh, for everyone's protection, we are chanting this. Text 29. Garudo Bhagavan Stotra Stobas Chando Maya Prabhu Rakshat Rakshadvi Ashesha Kriche Kricher Bhyo Vishvakshena Swa Namabhi Lord Garuda, the carrier of Lord Vishnu, is the most worshipable Lord, for he is as powerful as the Supreme Lord himself. He is the personified Vedas and is worshipped by selected verses. May he protect us from all dangerous conditions and may Lord Vishwaksena, the personality of Godhead, also protect us from all dangers by his holy names. Sarva Padbhyo Harer Nama Rupayana Yudhanina Buddhindriya Mana Prana Pantu Parshada Bhushana May the Supreme Personality of Godhead's holy names, his transcendental forms, his carriers and all the weapons decorating him as a personal associates protect our intelligence, senses, mind and life air from all dangers. Purport. There are various associates of the transcendental personality of Godhead and his weapons and carrier are among them. In the spiritual world, nothing is material. The sword, bow, club, disc and everything decorating the personal body of the Lord are spiritual living force. Therefore, the Lord is called Advaya Jnana, indicating that there is no difference between him and his names, forms, qualities, weapons and so on. Anything pertaining to him is in the same category of spiritual existence. They are all engaged in the service of the Lord in varieties of spiritual forms. Yathahi Bhagavan Eva Vastuta Sad Asachayat Satye Satye Nan Nanena Na Sarve Yantu Nasham Upadrava. The subtle and gross cosmic manifestation is material. But nevertheless, it is not different from the Supreme Personality of God it because he is the ultimate cause of all causes. Cause and effect are factually one. Because the cause is present in the effect. Therefore, the absolute truth, the Supreme Personality of Godhead can destroy all our dangers by any of his potent parts. Yathai katmayanu bhavanam vikalpa rahita swayam bhushanam yuddha lingakya dhate sakti swamayaya Bhagavan Hari Patu Sarvei Swarupairna 
सदा सर्वत्र सर्वगा the supreme person of god at the living entities the material energy the spiritual energy and the entire creation are all individual substances a very important purpose prabhu please pay attention once again i'm starting the supreme person of god at the living entities the material energy the spiritual energy and the entire creation are all individual substances in the ultimate analysis however together they constitute the supreme one the personality of god therefore one who are advanced in spiritual knowledge see unity in diversity for such advanced persons the lord's bodily decorations is named his fame is attributes the and forms and the weapons in his hand are manifestations of the strength of his potency according to their elevated spiritual understanding uh, the omniscient lord who manifests various forms is present everywhere may he always protect us everywhere from all calamities so spiritual world material world and his energy are all different they are part of him but they are different you, can, you cannot say energy is equal to god energy is coming from god right so this mayavada is being removed by shila prophet so perfect please hear attentively a person highly elevated in spiritual knowledge knows that nothing exists but the supreme personality of god it This is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 9.4 where Lord Krishna says Maya Tatham Midam Sarvam indicating that everything we see is an expansion of his energy. This is confirmed in the Vishnu Purana 122.52 Ekadesha Sthitas Yatnair Jotsna Vistarini Yatha Parasya Brahmana Shaktis Saktis Tatedam Akilam Jagat as a fire although existing in one place can expand its light and heat everywhere so the omnipotent lord the supreme person of god it also situated in a spiritual abode expands himself everywhere in both the material and spiritual worlds by his various energies since by his various energies since both the cause and effect are the lord or the supreme lord there is no difference between cause and effect consequently the ornaments and the weapons of the lord being expansions of his spiritual energy are not different from him there is no difference between the lord and his various presented energies this is also confirmed in the padma purana nama chintamani krishna chaitanya ras vigraha purna suddho nitya mukto abhinnatvam nama namino the holy name of the lord is fully identical with the lord not partially the word purna means complete the lord is omnipotent and omniscient and similarly his name form qualities and paraphernalia and everything pertaining to him are complete pure eternal and free from material contamination the prayer to the ornaments and carriers of the lord is not false for they are as good as the lord since the lord is all pervasive he exists in everything and everything exists in him therefore even worship of the lord's weapons or ornaments has the same potency as a worship of the lord mayavadi is refused to accept the form of the lord or they say that the form of the lord is maya or false but one should note very carefully that this is not acceptable although the lord's original form sorry although the lord's original form and his impersonal expansion are one the lord maintains his form qualities and abode eternally therefore this prayer says patu sarvai swarupair na sada sarvatra sarvaga may the lord who is all pervasive in his various forms protect us everywhere the lord is always present everywhere by his name form qualities attributes and paraphernalia and they all have equal power to protect the devotees shrila madhvacharya explains this as follows ek eva paro vishnu usha heti dvijeshu aja tat tat tach chakti prad pradhatvena swayam eva vyavasthita satyen satyenanena mam deva patu sarveshvaro hari Text 
अंतर बहिर भगवान नारसिंह प्रहा फलालोक भयम स्वनेन स्व तेजस ग्रस्त समस्त तेज प्रहलाद महाराजा लाउडली चैंटेड द होली नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड नरसिंह मे लॉर्ड नरसिंह देव रोरिंग फॉर इज डिबोटी प्रहलाद महाराजा प्रोटेक्टर्स from all fear of dangers created by stalwart leaders in all directions through poison weapons water fire air and so on may the lord cover their influence and by his own transcendental influence may lord narsimha deva protect us in all directions and in all corners above below within and without lord narsimha deva bhagwan ki jai text 35 मघवन इदम आख्या वर्म नारायणात्मक विजेयसे अंजाएन धम स्थित असुरा विश्वरूप कंटिन्यू ओ इंद्र दिस मिस्टिक आर्म रिलेटेड टू लॉर्ड नारायण हेज बीन डिस्क्राइब बाय मी टू यू बाय पुटिंग ऑन दिस protective covering you will certainly be able to cover to conquer the leaders of demons so this is the narayana kavaja completed now uh, vishwarupa is telling that now you are protected you know since you have covered yourself with this kavaja et dharaya manas tu yam yam pashyati chakshusha padava sams krishet satya राजदस्यो गृहाभ्यो विहदि आदिभ्यर्चि दिस प्रेयर नारायण कवज कॉन्स्टिट्यूट सटल नॉलेज ट्रांसडेंटली कनेक्टेड विथ नारायण वन हू एम्प्लॉय दिस प्रेयर इज नेवर डिस्टर्ब और पुट इन डेंजर बाय द गवर्नमेंट बाय द प्लंडर बाय ईवल डीमस और बाय एनी टाइप ऑफ डिज इमाम विद्याम पुरा कस्चि कौशिको धारयोगारणया स्वा स्वांगम जहौ स मरु धन्वनी ओ किंग ऑफ द हेवन ए ब्राह्मण नेम्ड कौशिका फॉर्मरली यूज्ड दिस आर्मर व्हेन ही परफेक्टली गेव अप हिज बॉडी इन द डेजर्ट बाय मिस्टिक पावर सो ब्राह्मण डाइड इन द डेजर्ट But he chanted this Narayana Kavaja before he died, right? Dasyo pari vimani na Gandharva patir ekada yayo chitra ratha stribhir viro brito yatra dvijakshaya. Surrounded by many beautiful women, Chitra ratha, the king of the Gandharva loka, was once passing in his airplane over the Brahmana's body at the spot where the Brahmana had died. आधाय प्रायस्य प्राची सर सरस्वत्या snatva dhama swam an anvaga suddenly chitraratha was forced to fall from the sky head first with his airplane struck with wonder he was ordered by the great sage named the valikilyas to throw the brahmana's bones in the nearby river saraswati he had to do this and bathe in the river before returning to his own abode so what is being told here even though the brahmana had read the narayana kavaja and he passed away and he left his body in a desert where there is no river 
A Gandharva going upside was forced to come down to do his Antima, Sanskara. That is the power. So he's protected. Because even though he's he died in no man's land with nobody around him, but still he was going to give a, given a glorious Antip Sanskara by Gandharva king. Right? So that is how powerful this Narana Kavaja is. It protects us. Even after we die, that is what it means. Even after we leave the body. Text 41. Shri Sukho Vacha Ya Idam Shrinu Yat Kale Yodharayati Chadrita Tam Namasyanti Bhutani Munchyate Sarvato Bhayar. Shri Sukhadev Goswami said, My dear Maharaj Parikshit, one who employs this armor or hears about it with faith and veneration, when afraid, because of his because of any conditions in the material world, is immediately freed from all dangers and is worshipped by all living entities. It's glorious for the people who read this. Etam Vidyam Adigato Vishwa Rupaj Chatakratu Trilokya Lakshmi Bhubuje Vinit Jitya Brude Asuran King Indra, who performed 100 sacrifices, received this prayer of protection from Vishwarupa. After conquering the demons, he enjoyed all the opulences of the three worlds. Purpur. This mystical mantric armor given by the Vishwarupa to Indra, the king of the heavens, acted powerfully with the effect that Indra was able to conquer the Asuras conquer the asuras and enjoy the opulence of three worlds without impediments. In this regard, Madhavacharya points out, Vidya karman is cha sada gurur prapta phala prada anyatha naiva phala tha prasanno ta phala prada One must receive all kinds of mantras from bona fide spiritual master. Otherwise, the mantras will not be fruitful. This is also indicated in Bhagavad Gita 4.34. Tad vidhi prani patena pari prashnena sevaya patikshan dekshanti te jnanam jnanina tadarshina. Just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him submissively and render service onto him. The self realized soul can impart knowledge onto you because he has seen the truth. All mantras should be received through the authorized guru and the disciple must satisfy the guru in all respects after surrendering at his lotus feet. In the Padma Purana, it is also said, Sampradaya vini vihina ye mantras de nishpalapata. Uh, there are four sampradayas or disciplinary successions, namely the Brahma Sampradaya, the Rudra Sampradaya, the Shri Sampradaya and the Kumara Sampradaya. If one wants to advance in spiritual power, one must receive his mantras. Again, muting. Yeah. One must receive, if one wants to advance in spiritual power, one must receive his mantras from one of these bona fide sampradayas. Otherwise, he will never successfully advance in spiritual life. Thus ends the Bhakti on the purpose of the sixth canto, eighth chapter. Of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled The Narayana Kavaja Shield. Shri Narayana Kavaja Prayers Ki Jai. Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. All assembled devotees Ki Jai. AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Kadashi Sav Ki Jai. Nitai Gaura Hari Premanandi Hari Hari Bol. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Ram. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. So, Prabhuji and Mataji, I would like to end this uh, talk with, uh, with, with this class with one uh, discussion that Srila Prabhupada, yesterday I was hearing to Srila Prabhupada in one lecture. I'll tell you two incidents that happened yesterday. So, one, uh, I was going to office and uh, just when before I reached the office, I knew that Srila Balgwin Prabhu was taking his mother to the hospital. She had an injury in the night. But I had some important things going on in the office. So I had to go. Yesterday was a payroll day. I literally was entering the office, almost entering the office. Something in my heart was telling, no, you should go. You should go to Balgwin. And 
I just kept all the owners on Palpin, you know, on Lord Narayan and said, okay, please help me fulfill my material work also, which I have to do today, but I have to go there. So I went. So on the way where I was going, I just opened YouTube and typed Srila Prabhupada because I just wanted to have the right consciousness, you know, uh, hearing from Prabhupada. Everybody should hear. I don't know how many of you are not hearing from Srila Prabhupada. Every day, if not every day, weekly, sometimes you should hear from our founder Acharya because he's he is the basis of everything that we are hearing. There's so many Maharaj and so many Prabhus. So, it's a five-minute lecture, actually. And Srila Prabhupada is talking about a discussion between Arjuna and Krishna in uh, Bhagavad Gita. And Prabhupada explains that Arjuna looks at Lord Krishna and says, Krishna, you are telling that I am the spirit soul. Which is true. I know that I am the soul. I know this knowledge. You are telling me, you know, they know Spinyatha, they all that I already know. But I am still feeling sorry. I am feeling so miserable for the death of, the upcoming death of, you know, so many people in this world. My gurus, my children, my brothers, my uh, cousins, my relatives, all other, all other kings. What should I do with this distress? Though I have already have the knowledge. So Lord Krishna told, very amazing thing, Srila Prabhupada explained. He says that, see, you are right now embodied uh, in an embodied condition, meaning you are the soul, you are part of me, but you are in a bodily condition. You will experience pain, you will experience uh, uh, you will experience a lot of misery, a lot of anxiety by losing your loved ones. Even though you know that they are just the body that they are losing, the actual people are still going because you are in embodied condition. So the solution that Lord Krishna gives to Arjuna, he says, tolerate. Tam sthitiksha bharata. Tolerate. You cannot uh, speak unreally to people saying that you are not this body or the soul, so don't be, don't feel any way affected if somebody is leaving the body. No, it is not the way it has to be understood. Lord Krishna is saying that you are embodied, so tolerate. Matras parshastu konte sitoshna sukha dukkara agama tam tam remain steady bharata. Right? You have to go through this and still be tolerant. So I heard this while I was going to the hospital and uh, we spent the whole day together almost till evening 7. And then in between when this uh, we were sitting in the hall. See one good thing about being with Vaishnavas is Krishna speaks to you in all situations. So even in that situation where you know so much was going on with his own mother you know Palguin Prabhu uh, looked at me and he told I'll share one philosophy with you. I said Prabhu please. We were discussing a lot of things. It was a good time for me, uh, that I was hearing from my Siksha Guru, he looked at me and he said, Prabhu, is Maya dangerous? Is she so dangerous? Or are you putting yourself in dangerous position? Then he gave an example of uh, some great say, quoting, that actually, we are the ones who are running behind Maya. Maya is not running behind us. We always say Maya is behind us. No, Maya is not behind us. We are running behind Maya. We are getting attracted to her. Like one person, he went to went and folded a big tree. Big tree. He folded it tightly and he started shouting, protect me, protect me, protect me, leave me, leave me, leave me. The tree is like, you are holding me. <laughs> what do you mean you leave, leave me? The same way, we are holding Maya. Because of uh, Mamai Vamsho Jeeva Loke, Jeeva Bhutasa. It was the later part, you know, Indriyas, we've engaged with this metal energy for such a long time. We are infected. So it's difficult to uh, leave it overnight. But by taking shelter of the holy names, by taking shelter of the mantra uh, given by the Guru, most important, given by the Guru. So Narayana Kavaja is a great mantra, is a set of mantras, whole package. But Hare Krishna Mantra is equivalently powerful. Don't think that, oh, now I have to start chanting Narana Kavaja also. Well, you should learn Narana Kavaja and chant Narana Kavaja also. It gives you more faith, more understanding of Lord's energies, expansions, avatars, everything. And how you become more intense in your prayers. But 
if you're chanting Hare Krishna mantra sincerely also, it's equivalently potent because it is given by the Guru. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given it. And the whole Sampradaya is giving it. Srila Prabhupada has given it to all his disciples and everybody, the whole world here. And his disciples now, great Sanyasi Maharajas are giving it to his disciples, their disciples. And also to everybody to chant Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. So, the chapter ends saying that how important it is that we receive this in disciplining succession and we are so fortunate that among the four Sampradayas Srila Prabhupada is explaining, we are part of Brahma, Madhva, Gaudiya Sampradaya. Right? So, we are fortunate that we have uh, got the Srimad Bhagavatam, authorized version of Srimad Bhagavatam, translated and given to us. How many of you, how many of you feel that you are fortunate today and you are fortunate in this life that you have received the Srimad Bhagavatam from Srila Prabhupada, before devotee, translating and bringing all Sampradaya's essence into the purpose. We all feel fortunate. Yes, we are very all very fortunate. Don't look, at, don't look at our spiritual life like a ritual. That's the only request I'm making on this Ekadashi day. Don't make your chanting a ritual. Prabhus, there are three levels of entering a temple. Okay? There are three levels of entering a temple. One as a body, second as a ritual. Third, as in consciousness. Right? Some people just throw their body into a temple and say that oh, I am in temple, I am pure. Some people just go into the temple and do ritual. You know, oh, oh, namaha, I am done prata. Now I am pure. But some people take their prayer and their consciousness into the temple. Mana. Man mana vavad bhakto matyajimam namaskuru with mana do the namaskar. Same concept of ritual, of, of, of deha, body, ritual and mana applies for our chanting also. When we are chanting, is your body chanting? What is the point? You will not get any benefit. Bhakti Thakur is saying there is no benefit in that kind of chanting. You might have heard, oh Prabhu, but you also told some benefit. But are you looking for that? That some benefit, some ritualistic way of thinking? Then you are not going to get the benefit. We are not going to get the benefit. Our, our mana should be engaged. That is the best chanting. That is the chanting that will reach the Supreme Lord as a prayer and give us results. And my humble request to everybody hearing this call, I want, to, I want you to hear this one thing very, very clearly. Do not chant while hearing a class. You are doing Nama Prat. Do not chant while hearing a class. I see, you know, many times, devotees bring their chanting bags. I am giving a class in the center. They are sitting behind. They are trying to finish the round. I mean, like, that is Nama Prat. You have rest of the night to 12 o'clock. Go back home and do. First of all, you should not come to a class without finishing your chanting. You should finish your chanting in the morning. For example, I am a little late today. But next two hours, I am just going to keep everything off. Khattam, I am going to do my chanting. Finish. Then I will start my day. Or your day has started in a way that it is out of your control. Then some part of the day, you have to do that again. Sit down and do it. Exceptions can happen once in a while, Prabhu, but not every day. Please don't come to Bhakti Center with your chanting malas in your hand and sit in a class and chant. I have told, told this, but I don't know if people are hearing or not hearing. Especially, why am I telling this? Is because if you do it in front of Gauranga Darshan Prabhu or front of Gauranga Prabhu or front of Radhisham Prabhu or front of such senior devotees who are visiting our center, they will simply think, are these people trained or not? Is somebody telling them or not that this is not right? Either do your chanting or come or go out from there and chant. And most importantly, if you don't hear the class properly, how will you improve your chanting? Shravanam is very, very important. Hmm? Once one, one Prabhu asked, uh, Radha Gopinath Prabhu asked a question to His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj. Bhakti Charu Maharaj, Radhanath Maharaj, everybody sitting in the assembly. He asked a question. How do I know with my devotional practice, I am developing creepers or am I developing uh, Bhakti Lata Beach? How do I know? I am performing devotion. I am doing chanting. But how do I know whether I am developing creepers in my devotion? Anartha. Or am I developing uh, Bhakti Lata Beach? 
which one I am. And Maharaj, the teacher of Maharaj told, okay, I'll ask Radhanath Maharaj to answer it. <laughs> like that, they were both were having a mellow. And Radhanath Maharaj beautifully on the on the instruction and request of Bhakshar Maharaj, uh, he answered beautifully. He said one simple answer to that. He said, Shravanam. Shravanam. Strong Shravanam. If you are not doing strong Shravanam, we will develop creepers. Sitting inside a satsang, doing Bhakti Riksha, as a leader of Bhakti Riksha, as somebody preaching, as a service, we will also develop creepers if he is not properly hearing. Everybody has to hear. Every day you have to hear. Not once in a week. No, Prabhu. Uh, somebody else is hearing and telling me the essence. No. What are you saying? You should hear. No, I only want to hear the summary. No. Hear. You have to have hearing as part of your life. Shravanam. And reading the purports. Reading the purports of Prabhupada. Very, very important. If you do these two things, hearing and reading, actually both are same. Your Shravanam. Saying and hearing. Reading purport, you have heard the entire purport. No. Have you heard when you are reading the purport? So, Shravanam. So, if you do Shravanam, you will know that you are not developing creepers, you are developing Bhakti Lata Bhakti. And the, and the day of Ekadashi is a checkpoint. Amaradar Prabhu says it's a checkpoint every 15 days. Where are we standing in a devotional life? 15 days checkpoint. We need. Because we can die any, any, any week. So, let us utilize this uh, opportunity on the day of Ekadashi to spend some time attentively chanting. Not with the body, not as a ritual, with the mana, with the mind. And offer this chanting to Lord Narayan. Right? So, this is much more to say, but when I have to go now. So, thank you very much for your attentive hearing. Unless anybody has any question or comment, uh, what did you feel for today's special Ekadashi class on uh, Narayan Akhauja? If you want to say in a word, you can say and we can discuss. Thank you.